welcome back to the channel guys. I thought I would start this video off with a brief tour of my garage. I've spent the better part of about two weeks trying to get everything in order and fixing everything up. Um, with that came obviously all the tools that I found as well as nuts, bolts. Um, you can see my air tools up there. I haven't really used my air compressor recently. But um, now that I've got my tools and everything together, I will start again. So you can see I've made a little space for my uh, Nismo exhaust systems. There's three of them in total. One of them is Cousin Manny's, um, who's got the four-door ER34 GTT. Um, and there's also two Nismo front pipes there. One of those is also Manny's as well um, for his uh, four-door. And there's also a G-Ready um, Trust um, front pipe as well. So all my spray paints, not that you guys really need to see this stuff, but I just wanted to share it with you because I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of myself. I won't need to buy any tools anytime soon because I've found so many of them. But we'll get into the video, the JDM emergency flare. I don't know if a lot of people know about this, but um, in Japan, all the cars are fitted with uh, flares. Originally, these flares were the... Um, incendiary type the, the fire type so basically uh, you you strike them like a match they ignite and they burn for about an hour 45 minutes to an hour with a bright uh, red light and smoke um, in order to obviously lead people to um, find you if you lost or need rescuing basically this is a short video I just want to basically show what what happens with flares. Um, this is what would have been in the cars uh, back um, when they were still using these types of flares. I don't 100% know if they've moved to all um, LEDs now. I would assume they probably have. This method's a bit archaic, but hey, it is what it is, and that's their laws over there. Um, l legally obliged to carry a red flare. Not yellow, not green, not blue, red. Has to be red. So basically you strike it like a match um, and as I said, it will burn for 45 minutes to an hour. It'll release um, smoke and light. Why do they need to do these? Uh, why do they need them? Cars in Japan are legally required to carry a red flare. This is, this, this is to be used to notify others of an emergency such as a car being broken down or an accident. In some cases, your imported car will still have the flare or the holders or both. I don't believe that but that's apparently what the statement says. They're usually clipped to the side of the passenger footwell, which is 100% accurate. So for those of you who have import cars, check to see if you still have a flare. You'll know if you have one in the Skyline because, um, well, you, you'll see it shortly, what exactly is involved in it. But I'll show you the bits and pieces now. These are the units that you can order from uh, Nissan. Basically, they come as a single unit, so I had to order two in order to get both of them. They're a simple piece of kit, and they're very cheap, uh, probably about $4, $5 per side, um, per unit, I would say, I should say. This is the LED flare. Now, as I said, they've moved to a, obviously, uh, an LED flare now as opposed to an incendiary flare. So the back of it is magnetic and you can stick it on your car to basically one of the drivers that you've broken down. I've got a shifter here that I will stick it to just to demonstrate obviously how strong the magnet is. And you can see there, it holds firm with no issues whatsoever. That's basically it in terms of what you'll need. I'll put the links in the description for all of this stuff anyway. This particular flare, well that's obviously what you would need to put into your car. So installation is really easy. Um, and when I say really easy, it's so simple anyone can do this but in your passenger footwell whether or not you've seen this mounting bracket there or not I don't know apparently it is it is something that a lot of people miss I know I did initially so realistically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking these uh, holders and plugging them into the tabs now the way that's done is that the you put it in on the side and then you twist it into place and it locks into place with that last tab down the bottom there um, so if you have a look here, I'm sorry for the bad camera work, but that's basically how you do it. It's so simple. Anyone could literally do this. And uh, as I said, yeah, basically you've got to put two of those in and when you order them, you do need to order two as well. Otherwise they will just send you one. So 
something really, really easy to do in your car. It's, it adds a bit of flair to it, pun intended, but it adds a bit of class or, or something special. As I said, I'm all about making your car yours, or in my case, my car mine. This is something that I wanted to put in. Um, it just, it's JDM, you know? That's what all the cars in Japan have. Whether it's uh, a form of style or characteristics, it doesn't make a difference, but it's just something to make your car yours. And I think it's pretty cool. And for the price of, I guess, $40, it's something to to obviously enjoy. So how do you get one? Basically, I ordered my LED flare from eBay. Um, if you just type in JDM LED flare, it will bring it up. They're about $29. Uh, there's two different types. There's a small type, which is this type that we're using, and there's a larger type there. I prefer the small type because that's what would have come with the car originally, according to my sources, but by all means, you're welcome to get both. I don't know how well the other flare fits in the holder, but I know the smaller ones fit relatively uh, flush and nice. But um, the second part is the, the holders, uh, and you will order them from amiyama.com. It's a site that I've used before. Type in the part number, if you know the part number in the search uh, bar, and it'll bring up all the parts associated with that part number. Now, if you've done it right, there should only be one, but you can see here, um, it's there, basically, you add it to cart, um, and it's it's called a holder, genuine Nissan, but it gives you an image of where, it's, where they're meant to be mounted, which is obviously the front left passenger footwell. Um, but apart from that, when you do go to check out, make sure you increase the quantity to two because they will only send you one of the holders if you if you ask for one. Uh, I know they should be sold in the, in the set, but they, they're not. So make sure you order two. But um, that's about it, guys. As I said, look, it looks cool as far as I'm concerned. And that's part of, obviously, owning a car like this is that you make it your own and you do little things to it. But um, apart from that, guys, I appreciate all the views, all the likes, all the comments. And as always, take care.